All right. Hi. Hi. Uh oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Not that again. <laughs> Welcome back to Project Stories. Uh, we're still in our matching lavender pink outfits. Um, and we're here to share, to talk about your kind of more immediate family, your siblings, uh, Sandy and Ralph. Ralph. Yes. Yeah. And um, my brother, Ralph Matthews Chapman, uh, the third, was really um, just 14 months uh, older than I was. And my sister was about three and a half years younger. So I certainly had. Yeah. That's kind of interesting because Lauren, my siblings, Lauren and Keegan are 14 months apart. Oh. Are Randy and Ryan, my dad? Yes. 14 yes. months yeah. apart? Yeah. 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 So there, I, there, there's always kind of a funny relationship yeah. with, yeah. you know, Irish twins, they call them, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. So you were close in age with your brother. Yes, yes. So uh, my mother, when I went to kindergarten in Minneapolis, and my mother told my brother that he was supposed to take me home. I think I was in the afternoon kindergarten class, and so he was to take me home and make sure I got home okay. So he always waited at the door when I got out of kindergarten and he took me, would take me home. But I talked him into one day because I had met this girl and she lived in an apartment building close by the school. And I decided I wanted to go there and play with her after school. Mm. And so I talked him into it. He was very patient with me always. And, um, in fact, I can always talk him into things. But anyway. <laughs> is that patient or is that gullible? I don't know. It's just so love. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so we finally got back home probably an hour or so late, maybe even more. And uh, my mother had called the Minneapolis police. Ah! And um, so they were looking all over town for these two children that were probably abducted. But so my mother... <laughs> Asked me where I'd been, and I said, "Well, a mad dog chased us all over town." <laughs> and my brother said, "So she looked at my brother, and I remember this." And she said, "Is that true?" And he said, "Oh yeah." <laughs> so from that moment on, he was my hero, Aww. and he was always there for me. Well, he here's was, a question, uh, though: Does did your do you think that your mom really believed that? No. I mean, I'm imagining like a cartoon reel no. of a mad dog. Like, what is a mad dog? <laughs> yeah, you know? <laughs> Not this dog, by the way. That's my dog, Izzy. But, you know, a mad dog chasing. Like, what would that even be like? Like, he, he got your scent. And then I just love that six-year-old Dana's mind was like, <laughs> a mad dog chasing us around. Oh, um, yeah. I was always an actress. Anyway, <laughs> um... Anyway, uh, so through the years, my brother, uh, growing up with him, uh, he's very unusual. He was pretty uh, pretty smart about everything and kind of through school, just everything he got easily, especially math. And he would sit and I would come home from school in tears because I didn't understand something and he would explain it to me in great terms and I would get it. Because I was really a student, I always wanted to do well in school. But mm-hmm. anyway, um, so as we were growing up, um, I he was really uh, there for me throughout my mm. my school years, which is so nice. Yeah. Um, my sister was being uh, in four years difference in class. I didn't, you know, I just don't remember doing very much with her at any time. Uh, during those years I don't kind of remember her but Mm -hmm. when she got to be um kind of like a 10 11 12 she had a horrible horrible thing she had a a appendix that busted Mm -hmm. and in those days and my mom worked with my grandmother so she was very she she knew all about the human body why she didn't take her to the doctor I don't know Mm -hmm. but She uh, got really sick and was hospitalized, and finally they did the operation, and but it took her a long time to get well. Then the next year she had adhesions Mm. from that surgery the year before, Mm -hmm. almost died again, 
Mm-hmm. And then she uh, then she was ice skating and broke her wrist and that put a plate in that. So through those three terrible times, I really changed how I felt about her and just, mm-hmm. you know, she was, I always thought, gosh, this is horrible. Yeah. Uh, what's happening to her? And yeah. so she had, she had some really critical things when yeah. she was a kid that happened. And what do you feel like that? What was like a lesson that you learned from that? Well, that, you know, you really have to, uh, especially with your brothers and sisters, you have to cherish them. Mm-hmm. You have to make sure that you're there for them. Um, mm-hmm. So after that, I, I, I feel like I really changed my attitude and, you know, became yeah. more uh, concerned, excepting when she took my clothes <laughs> out of my class. Oh my gosh, is that that's a time old t- struggle between siblings, huh? Is stealing of clothes? Stealing oh. of clothes. She'd wait till I go to school, and <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know what? I another thing, another thing I'm noticing from that story is um, a needy baby of the family. Not that I'm a needy baby of family no 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 one would not, ever say that not, not, no <laughs> um but I, I i love that story because it's you know not that we want to you have to be shown that in such a dramatic way but, but to support your your yeah, family and your, yeah, your siblings yeah. and, and to cherish them i think that yeah. is a really and i important. think kids uh, originally are just kind of all about themselves they mm-hmm. don't really think too much about others and Mm. then in the family because they kind of do what they do every day Mm -hmm. but then all of a sudden when that happens and your Mm -hmm. your sibling is actually in the hospital for a long time and Mm -hmm. not doing well and they think she might die then you really start oh my god that's and so and and she was she was a great gal and she was smart and uh she was she she always was my best friend. I loved my mm. sister. She died early on at about uh early seventies, which isn't really early on, but she yeah. she she died what I which I think was young. Yeah. Well But yeah. but we talked on the phone all the time. Mm. Yeah, I love my sister. Cher- cherish your siblings. Right? Cherish your siblings. Yeah. I was even they thinking- don't last forever. Yeah. What I was even thinking is Annie and Will, do you know their age difference? <sighs> we might have to, or Tor yeah. and William. Well, I think they're two years, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. two to three years. Okay. Difference. Not that Irish twin. No. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Okay. No. So it doesn't yeah. always happen, but anyway. Well, um, so that's a little bit about. Your two siblings. And my two siblings. Yeah. Which uh, is so sad because um, I lived far, far apart from both of them, actually, mm. through my most of my adult years. And my my brother lived in San Diego. And my sister lived in Wisconsin. And I lived in, or, in Seattle area. And so it was... Um, So it was like a a big deal to get together. I mean, it wasn't like we could go over there Sundays and have. So I kind of drifted away uh, Mm. from, especially with my brother, Mm -hmm. uh, which I kind of regret now, too, Mm because it was, you know, he is busy and I was busy, but, and he had a, he had more of a difficult life. Mm. So, Mm. Well, when he was just really quick, because I think this is so cool, is that he was like, we're one of the first people like working on computers. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, My brother was, yeah, he would take, uh, when he was a kid, he would take everything apart, but mostly radios and learn how to put them back together again. Yeah. And um, so he got into electronics very early on in the, in the, probably the fifties yeah. and, um, and he eventually worked for general dynamics and fixed their mainframe uh, computers. Um, he was, well, he was really, he was really a brilliant person, very socially, not, uh, pretty inept yeah. socially, but, um, 
But yeah. brilliant. And but I think brilliant. That's, yeah. that's really just a theme in our family. Yeah. Would you say brilliance? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I say that well, jokingly and then I say that actually like non jokingly. <laughs> like I do think there are many people that I just know like, yeah. in our family who are really Well, brilliant. there's many people in our family that have really good uh skills at one in one area. Yeah. And yeah. and a what lot you, a lot of them would be computer electronics. What do you think technology. my skill is? Uh, you're a very all around girl. <laughs> oh, I like you've that. got everything. Yeah, she even set this up for us. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. All right. Well, uh, look, ten minute mark. We're gonna try and keep these videos at a t- about ten minutes. So all right, we nailed it. All right, and we'll and Izzy has been a really good girl. Yes. Oh, and she says hi. Hi. Bop, bop, bop. All right. Well, we'll see you next time.